Hello. In this video, I'll take you through a new feature we have introduced on AirMeet, automated pre-recorded session. Now, imagine you have pre-recorded content which you want to play in your session. Using this feature, you can add this pre-recorded content to your session and it will automatically play at the scheduled time without the need for a host to manually go and start or stop the session. So using this, you can completely automate a session starting and ending which purely has pre-recorded content. This is useful in a number of use cases. For example, you have uh, speakers who are failed to turn up at the last moment for your session. Now that session content can be pre-recorded and you can automatically play it. Or imagine you have a fewer number of organizers and you're not able to manage all the sessions simultaneously. Now some of these sessions could have entirely pre-recorded content, which as a host, you don't need to go and start and stop. It will automatically start at the scheduled time. So without further ado, let me take you through the flow. As an organizer, first I'll click on the appropriate air meet where I want to set up that session. I'll go to the schedule. I will click on add an activity. Uh, once I'm there, I'll see a new activity type, which is the pre-recorded session. Click on it. Uh, when I click on it, I can enter the name and the other details associated with this session. Uh, let me set the time as 4.45. Uh, now I need to map a session video to the session type. Uh, either I can select a video from the library that is existing uh, on my community account or I can upload a new video. So in this workflow, I'll upload a new video. Now, once I upload this uh, new video, uh, once it gets loaded, I can preview the upload. And once I preview the upload and I'm uh, certain that it's uh, correct, I can just click on done. Uh, one good thing, uh, one important thing to note here is that you should add a small introduction in your video to just ease in the attendee so that it doesn't start abruptly. Now, the session duration you'll notice uh, will get autofilled based on the length of the video uh, because this is an automated session. So the duration will be as long as the video lasts. Uh, you can enter the co-host tags and other session details. Uh, you'll notice that you don't need to add any host or speaker and even adding the co-host is optional uh, because this is an entirely automated uh, session. So none of these uh, people need to be present in the session. Uh, now, once I've added all the details, I can go and click on save. So this session gets scheduled for 4.45. Now, this is how the organizer flow looks like. Uh, now I'll show you how the flow looks like for an attendee. As an attendee, I log into the event. I see the different tabs. Now let me go to the schedule tab and go to this automated pre-recorded session. So this is the session that is going to automatically start. When I click on join session, I'll see this default illustration over here, uh, which, and there's a timer indicating how much time is left for this session to start. Uh, so as soon as this timer ends, the video will start playing automatically. So while this timer ends, let us wait and see how the experience would be once this timer ends. Thank you. So now you'll notice as soon as the countdown timer ends, uh, the countdown starts and after 10 seconds, uh, it will connect and start playing the video to me as soon as the uh, countdown timer ends. So here there was no need for a host to enter the session and automatically as soon as the timer ended, uh, there was a brief uh, countdown timer of 10 seconds and once that ended, the pre-recorded video started playing automatically. And once this uh, pre-recorded video ends, the session will also stop automatically without the need for any manual intervention. So this way you can schedule and play pre-recorded sessions in your event uh, without the need to have any host uh, managing these sessions.